Hi, I'm Donna Morris. When you visit your library's website at www.metrolibrary.org, you can browse our collection of vintage photographs of early Oklahoma City. But right now, here's Oklahoma historian and author Bob Burke to share some stories about these fascinating photos. The history of Belle Isle Park is linked to the Oklahoma Railway Company, which operated Oklahoma City's streetcar system. In 1908, ORC built a coal-fired power plant to run their cars, but with few riders after 8 p.m., they had excess electricity because the power plant could not be simply turned off at night and on again in the morning. Anton Klassen, the founder of the ORC, set about building a trolley park. The ORC would gain more riders by taking people to the park and use surplus energy to operate it. A lake had already been developed to cool the plant and it would become the centerpiece. Visitors to the park had a wide variety of recreational opportunities. They could swim, dive, boat, or fish in the lake by day. And in the evening, they could dine outside at the Boardwalk Cafe and dance the night away on the smooth dance floor. There were popular amusement rides as well. In 1928, the struggling ORC sold the power plant to og and &E. The electric company in turn built a large state-of-the-art plant on the site which generated power for the city into the 1960s. The park closed, but citizens were allowed to continue to use the lake until the 1940s. Not many residents of today's Oklahoma City remember Belle Isle Park, but the park, one of the city's earliest recreational facilities, remains a cherished part of its collective memory and has left an indelible mark on its geography.